you'll want to create a collection on OpenSea to get your NFT project off the ground. The process is pretty easy. Just go to OpenSea, go to your OpenSea account, log in with your MetaMask wallet, and in the upper right hand corner where you see the PFP representing who you are in OpenSea, your little icon for yourself, click on that and go to My Collections. And then in My Collections, you're going to create a new collection. So hit the blue Create a Collection button. And this is where you'll create a collection for that NFT project that you want to get up and running. For this collection, you'll need to have a logo image, a featured image, and a banner image. What I've done is created a template here in Photoshop. And with this template, I can go ahead now and create my different banners, logos, whatever for the collection project. So I have a collection here and it's called Devmonix. And I'm gonna quickly create this. I use the library feature in Photoshop to help me develop the assets for my collection. You could also say this is part of the branding process for your NFT collection. So the library in Photoshop comes in handy. You go to Windows, Libraries, open this up, and you can drag elements from your NFT into this that you may want to use. So maybe some background elements that you can reuse and different things that you ha already have set up for that particular NFT project. There's also this little button in the lower right-hand corner of your library, which is really nice to create assets. So you may need some assets created for these banners. What I do is I go into the library, click on the plus sign, go to extract from image. It opens up this window here. You hit the little plus sign in the upper right, upper left-hand corner and you find maybe one of the NFTs from your collection that you've generated. Again, this is to, to just help you create assets for the branding of the collection on OpenSea. So I will go into this images folder here and maybe select one of the NFTs I've created. It will open up in this extract from image aspect of the library. And then you can play with like backgrounds so sometimes I'll go ahead and create some backgrounds. And then as you create different types of backgrounds, you can hit save to see, see library. So it saves it to the library. So here I'm just exploring things that I find interesting, saving them. There's a shapes feature, which is nice. It will ex extract just like a black and white kind of graphic representation. So you can utilize that and get some nice things out of this sometimes. Maybe you want to create a color theme and you can also create a gradient. So it looks like it is thinking. So I'm gonna maybe create this color theme and create this gradient. And so once I have some assets created, I can go into the template and I'll share this template with you. And let's say for the future logo, maybe that's just a background here. I'm gonna pull this like blue background into this. So I'm just grabbing from the library. There's a logo, maybe for the banners, maybe I'll use one of these pattern backgrounds. So I'll go into the layers for the banners and then drag a pattern in there so you can get some nice stuff out of this. Maybe for the featured image, I grab a gradient and put that in there. Sometimes I'll go into the original working file of the NFT and grab something out of that as well. And then you want to give this a title. So the thing to think about with your titles is center the titles in the banners. So I noticed that OpenSea will not show you the full banner and sometimes the banners will change size based on somebody's browser window. So the text should be in the center and you can keep it relatively small. And you really just need text on the main banner itself. So I'll just add the name of my file here. It's called Devmonix. And I will pick a font for this. So I'm gonna search for something that kind of fits in with the brand. And the idea with developing the banners too is that <clears throat> the banners are going to help guide the branding for your project. Whatever you use here on the banners, you will probably want to use throughout your project. And I like this font, Abolition. I think that works good. So whatever you use here, you're going to use throughout the project on the website, maybe on your Twitter banners. Think about all aspects of the project where this is going to come into play again and keep a uniform look. So really think about branding your project. Use the same colors. Use the same fonts, use the same backgrounds. If you're creating this in Photoshop, the library is great because it's going to keep all this information together. You can drag out elements into the library and then reuse them.
I dragged out this like paint smear. That's going to be a nice little background effect that I can put behind the text to make the text stand out. So pay attention to all these little feet, all these little features, all these little branding elements that you are putting into the initial collection and make sure you reuse them throughout the process of developing your project. And I'm just trying to make the type a little bit more readable. So I'll just make it black. That's fine. And so now I have my banner, my featured image. I think I want to add maybe one more element to the featured image here. And the next thing to do is export these elements, these banners, make sure you save. So I hit save and then go to file export as. So the template is set up with the artboard. So once you have each individual banner logo set up, you can export them individually as PNG files. And I'm going to then make sure it's set to PNG, hit export. What I'll do is create a folder for the project. So I'm going to create a folder for the main collection, hit open, and then it will save everything to that folder. So now I have the elements needed. So I'll go back to OpenSea and start to build out this collection. So I have my logo image. I will find that project folder. So there's the logo image. I'll find the featured image. So there's the featured image and I'll find the banner image. And there is the banner image. Then I'll give it a name. So it's called Devmonix. You may have a website for your project and it is recommended to create a website just for the project itself. So that helps legitimize the project. If you have a website for that project, I don't in this example, so I'll leave it blank. Create a description. Now you can add a category. So I'm just gonna call this art. So that helps with OpenSea's search capabilities. In your links, you wanna add the links to your project. So if you have a Discord, a Twitter account, anything associated with the project you wanna add here. So I don't have specialized social media just for the account itself. So what I'll do typically is maybe connect to my current social accounts. So just connecting to my current Instagram and my current Discord. So for the uh, Discord, create an invite link and edit that link so it is set to do not expire. And then the for that invite link, it's going to be the last portion of the link that you add. So it's going to be a, the combination of letters and numbers at the end of the link. So the next thing you want to do is add your earnings or your royalties. So it can be anywhere from one to 10%. I typically do 10%, but that's totally up to you. You don't want to go too high because that can be a turnoff. Then you want to add your wallet address. So I'm going to go into MetaMask and click on the address, copy it from the account that I'm using and then paste it here. So you need to ensure that your wallet address is here in order to get any payment back from your collection. For the blockchain, I'm going to pick Polygon because I don't want to pay gas fees. And then you can pick a theme. So there's a couple themes here. If you have not safe for work content, you can add it here as well. And then this should be good. So I'm going to hit create and I got to fix my Discord it needs to be fixed in my Instagram had that switch out. And the thing about OpenSea too, if you need to edit this collection later, you can. Not all marketplaces will let you edit the collection after you add to the collection. For example, SoulSea will not let you edit the collection. So you have to be careful about what you add sometimes, but OpenSea will let you edit afterwards. So if you do make a mistake or you do need to change something, update an image, change the social media, you can always go back and do that afterwards. So now that I'm set, I'm going to hit create. And then once this is created, then I can begin the process of uploading my NFTs to the collection. Now I can see here too, maybe the text for the banner is a little bit too big. So I might want to go and change that. You can check your links here. So you can click on the links just to double check that they go to the proper account. So I got a discord and I got the link to the link to my Instagram and I got a link to my discord and it looks like everything is working. So you might want to fix things and change things and make some slight modifications but that is perfectly okay. Like for example, I need to fix my title here. It's a little bit too big. I notice it's not fitting in the banner. So I'm gonna go into my text, just scale it down, scale it down a little bit, place it in the center and just re-export that banner. And then back in OpenSea, I can edit 
my collection. So go back to my collections, find that collection, hit the edit button. So there's a little, looks like a little pencil icon and then upload an updated banner. And there you go. And that's the process of creating your collection in OpenSea.